Hey everyone, so I was taking this apart to test it. This is the um, control, water control circuit for the steam boiler in my last video. I had it apart to try and fix it and test some things on it, make sure it was working. So I just wanted to make something going over how it works. It's very simple, it's not complicated compared to a lot of other videos I've saw out there. Um, so, main parts of it. You have this board. Uh, this is a board I did not make. This is what does all the actual decision making for the pump, I guess you could say. And um, this, you can just buy these on eBay for around $5 if you search water level control board. You can find these. And it's been pretty reliable for me so far. Worked fine. This is a pump I also got on eBay. Just a general uh, 12 volt DC um, pump. And I think it can provide up to like 120 PSI, so that works pretty good for my boiler. That means since I run my boiler only at about 60 PSI, this pump is able to pump more pressure uh, than the boiler makes. So it can overcome the pressure of the boiler and still put water in. So that's good. Uh, this was also pretty cheap, probably $15, $20, I think. Um, so I'm going to go over what it does, basically. Here's the pump, and this side of the pump would connect to a water bucket or water tank and it's pumped through here and this is the connection to the boiler so that's that and then you have this board right here um, in case you don't know what all these different things do here all these little different inputs and outputs uh, there, there should be a picture like this on the seller page for it and this will this will go over and explain what all the different sensor inputs do for um, like in the water tank or the boiler in this case how the power how from your power supply it can run in here and connect this circuit to run the pump basically and this is the 12 volt power supply just for the board so this board has to be powered with 12 volts and this pump has to be powered with 12 volts you should be able to power them off the same power supply I use two different power supplies um, in my case, I power this board off of this 12 volt battery here. I wired up a little, put a little uh, wire here that connects to this battery. So this board is powered by this battery. And the pump is, if you follow this wire here, this pump goes back and is powered by this 12 volt power supply I have over here. And this is the positive and negative lead from that. And so as you can see here, this positive lead comes into the board. So it goes in there and it comes out down there to connect to the positive lead or positive connection on the pump. So this connection is broken, and this is a relay based on the water level in the boiler, based on the input from the water sensor. This relay will um, close or complete and break the water pump circuit to turn on and off the water pump. So let's talk about the sensor a little bit. The water sensor has to deal, deal with these three. Uh, connections right here and I'm only using two of them I think my phone just went off I'm only using two of them as you can see but you can use three if you want like a more um, honestly it would be better if you use um, all three let me try to explain that here so as you can see there are pins one two and three and it says let's see connect let's see if I can get it to focus Either way, it says connect, pin 1 is D water control, pin 3 is draw water control. So you can kind of see what that means here. Um, that means, say this is the tank, this is the middle lead, and um, let's say, for example, if you have it connected in this three wire setup, and this is the water level, when the water level reaches the top lead here, or the top connection, and it reaches that wire, it will cut off and when the water drains down below this um, first pin, this is actually pin number one, this is pin number three and the middle pin is pin number two. When it drains down below pin number one the pump will kick back on so you have a little bit of uh, leeway here I guess so the pump isn't constantly flickering on and off right when it's around the top water level. Since I'm only using two of these basically 
it'll make sure that the boiler fills up to this top point, and as soon as it goes down below that top point, it'll kick right back on. And the only issue with that, the only issue with that is that it leads to the um, when the water is right kind of in there and not fully up to that part yet, it'll kind of click the pump on and off really fast, which is kind of annoying, but it hasn't been too big of an issue. And again, if you really wanted to remedy that, you would just use the three pins and put this a little lower down in the boiler coil, so that way the water has to drain down to a certain point before it kicks back on again. But that was just too much for me. It's not really necessary for what I'm doing. So basically, these two connections here, these just connect to the positive and negative connection on the spark plug that I showed on the boiler in the last video. That's all these do. So when this circuit is completed by the water, then the pump will cut off, and when the pump is, or when the connection is broken, meaning there's no water there in the boiler, the pump will kick back on. That's all it really is. It's much more simple than other things. I've seen other people control it with, like, uh, I think, like, Arduinos and whatnot. It's really not necessary. It's a bit overcomplicated, I think. This is pretty good for a water control pump. You can probably do better than a spark plug, because spark plugs will rust eventually, I think depending on what kind you use, maybe, I don't know. Um, but it's been a pretty reliable way um, for me to control the water level in the boiler, and it's worked so far pretty well. I've had one issue with it, trying to figure out what that is, but otherwise it's worked fine, and I think this setup will work fine for anyone trying to repeat it. So real quick, I'm going to go ahead, plug in the board here, and kick on the power supply for the pump, and um, just demonstrate that when these wires touch, you'll hear uh, the pump cut off. It's it's pretty loud when there's no water going through it. It's pretty loud when there's water going through it, but, you know, I'll just show you here. All right, so I'm going to turn on the pump. There's lights on it too, by the way, when you turn on the board that indicate when the pump is on, when it's off. Or when both lights are on, the pump will be on. When the red light's on, the pump's on. So I'll go ahead and show you that. You can see the red light, it'll turn off when I touch these two things together. So, pumps off right now, pumps on, pumps off, pumps on. So I'll demonstrate it with the pump real quick. Pumps off. Then when I disconnect these two wires, it'll turn back on. Right, that's all that is. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Figured I'd do a video on it while I had it apart so it's easier to show. And that's basically it.